Hello everyone, this is Satya Prakash. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this part 9 of Angular CLI, we will discuss what are the steps to generate component in Angular CLI. So before going through this part 9, please visit my part 8 of Angular CLI that is generate component without npm packages in Angular CLI and without the node underscore models folders. So in this part 9, uh, I will I have created one angular CLI application using the no, node npm packages and including the node underscore modules. So you can get this part 8 uh, in my playlist called angular CLI tutorial. Okay, let's begin in my presentation. So what the points we need to discuss that is the what is component in angular CLI and how to generate component using angular CLI command and what is app.model.ts and know about difference between the flags with component generation. So what is component in Angular CLI? So the component in Angular CLI is that are the main building block of all the Angular applications. So each component consists of HTML template that declares what renders on the page and contains a TypeScript class that defines the behavior and it contains the CSS class, CSS selector and sometimes the style should be CSS or SSS or LESS less. That defines how the component is, is used in a template. So in I opened a, my command prop as an administrator and uh, this is my directory for the my local Angular CLI application and I have mapped to my application using a command prompt and I open this project using uh, the command called code space dot and it has opened the code in my VS code. So by default Angular CLI created one component under the SRC folder and inside the app folder there. So by default this component is, is created during the creation of the project Angular CLI project. So that one is app.component.html, app.component.css and app.component.spec.ts and app.component.ts and the last one is app.model.ts so this one app-routing.model.ts it is the for routing purpose so during creation of your project it was asking do you need for routing in your angular applications if you put yes then this file will be created otherwise it will not create okay now i will go to my presentation here so this one i have defined what i have shown here using visual studio code what the files has been created this is nothing but the components and this one is defined here what is the component in angular CLI and it's all the parts and files of the components and next one is what is the shortcut to generate the component so I'll tell you uh, if we try to generate a new component using the command called ng generate command right so to generate the component using the angular CLI command it is called ng generate component component name or the shortcut as soon that is the the fall this command is ng gc satya so the letter g stands for generate and the letter c stands for the component and the satya is my component name and in this command you can I, I have described this part what is the G stands for generate and the letter C stands for component so I will execute this command in my command prompt here so ng g c and the name of the component is satya so I press enter here so it will create the component with name called satya in my angular CLI project here so now, as of now you can you cannot see anything here like Satya components after creating you can see here so it will take some time to create the com uh, component in my angular cell application
so guys you can see that the component is created successfully this component contains some files satya.component.html it is a html template file satya.component.spec.ts and satya.component.ts file and satya.component.css and the app.model.ts file right so we need to check whether this files has been created in my project or not so i'll open the visual studio code here you can see under the src there is another folder app and there is another folder called satya here and satya contains some component related files that is the css file html files spec.ts file and .ts file right okay so when we execute this command nggc satya uh, so several things will be happen like a folder with name satya is created here the component files component class view template uh, CSS file and the spec spec file are created and placed inside the Satya folder and the root module file that is app.model.ts is also updated with our name component that is that is the required import statement to import the Satya component from the component file is included and the component is also declared in the declaration array of at the rate ng module decorator so i'll show you that is the app.model.ts file so you can see that our component is uh, imported here using import statement that is the imports satya component from this path that is the satya folder and the satya dot component and also inside the array of ng module decorator it is declared in the declarations array called the ng modules at ng modules the satya component has declared here like this also the by default component called app component also uh, you can import the step statement here it is by default created by the angular CL applications and it is uh, inside the ng module declaration array it has been add declared here inside add the ng module decorator app component satya component so like this if you create any other components you will add this you will import this component and you will add that this uh, declared these uh, components here inside the adriat mo module adriat ng module decorator like this so this is the uh, role and importance of app.model.ts in case of your components is created right so next one is uh, so i'll show you one di one different scenario like uh, you want to place the generate component folder in a different folder so by default a separate folder is created for every new component that is we generate and the component file dot ts dot css dot html and dot spec are placed in this folder this newly created folder is placed in the app folder by default so if you want the newly created folder to be placed in different folder other than the app folder the simply include the folder name in the ng generate command so ng g c and uh, this folder is satya and inside folder i want to add the component called xyz and i press enter here right so every component is by default included inside the app folder but i want the, that inside satya folder i want to create another component uh, with different name So that's why this uh, command is defined here notice that the newly created xyz com component folder is placed inside the satya folder right so instead of app folder so i'll show you that is uh, you can see instead of app folder the xyz com component is created inside the satya folder 
so like this we have created and also the related component files has been created here let css html spec.ts and .ts for xyz command and also automatically in app.model.ts you can see the import the xyz com component and this component is uh, declared in the at the date ng model decorator here right as i described earlier okay now uh, i want that generating a new component without a folder so to create a component without a folder we use one option called dash dash flat with the ng generate command so let's see how it is work so ng gc p q r and dash dash flat after then i'll click enter here so this will be this component will be created with name pqr.component.html inside the app folder but the pqr component should not have the own folder like here uh, we create a component called satya that's why one folder is created satya one component is created xyz so that one folder is created xyz so i'll show you ins inside my local directory here if i'll go to my src folder inside the app folder so you can see satya folder is created for that component right and inside satya there is another component called xyz is created here but 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 this dash dash flat options will uh, block to create the folder for that component you can see that uh, this pqr component is created but i'll show you in vs code okay so you can see here uh, the pqr component related files has been created dot csa dot html dot spec dot ts dot ts but it does not have its own folder right like like this like this xyz or satya it has it does not have its own folders it just placed inside the app folder without creating its own folder called pqr so if you'll go to uh, the app folder in my local directory of angular CLA project so you can see the like satya folder there is no folder called pqr so that it is it is just created all the related files called css dot component html dot spec dot ts and dot ts but without creating its own folder called pqr all right so here we have noticed that the newly created component pqr uh, component a separate folder is not created the component files are placed in the app folder by default right so the another another options is uh, placing the and also you can see inside the app.modular.ts this import section the component has been added and inside the uh, at the red ng model decorator the pqr component is added here all right so i'll go to my uh, command prompt so i want to placing the flat component files in a different folder other than app so for that what i'll do a flat component is a component that is created with dash dash flat option this, is, this component does not have its own folder by default the file the flat component files are placed in the app folder so if you want to place them in the different folder instead specify the folder name along with the ng generate command so ng gc and i want to place that component without this its own folder but inside the satya folder so and dash dash flat so this command means this will create the component jkl but it does not have its own folder but it will it will place all this related jkl related component files inside satya folder and i have used that options called dash dash flat options right so after then i'll put enter
So you have noticed that JKL component has been created with its all related files and the J JKL component related files has been placed in the folder called Satya. So I'll show you in VS Code. So I'll just expand this Satya folder and you can see JKL component files has been added jkl.component.css, jkl.component.html and jkl.component.spec.ts, jkl.component.ts without creating its own folder like xyz right so so i'll show you also inside the local directory so i'll expand open this uh, my satya folder component folder and here you can see that jkl component related files has been created here instead of creating its own folder it has been placed inside the satya folder component folder all right so next one is uh, what is the dash dash drive run flag with component generations? What is the using of that? That's the dash dash drive dash run flag. Just like how we can use the dash dash drive dash run flag with, with ngnu command, we can also use it with ng-generate command. So the dash dash dry dash run flag reports the files have and folders that will be generated and without actually generating them it just shows you the report that how many what are the files has been affected without really creating these files for you right so once you are happy with that it is going to generate so you can remove the dash dash dry dash run flag and execute the command it will it will it will create the real time files for you so basically the dash dash dry dash run flag will report the files and folders that will be generated without actually creating them or generating them so for example the, the command ng generate reports that it creates an extra external template and styles it for the component it also generates a spec file in the test file and uh, what is the command is that is ng g c and the component is ghi and dash d it is a short form you can put dash dash dry dash run or you just put it as dash d okay so it will not create this ghi component related files in your project it just show you that the what are the files and folders will be created in your uh, local directory so I, I will click enter here And notice that we have run this command with dash d flag it only reports this file it is going to generate without actually generating them so if you execute this command without d it will create these files but as of now it is not created these files in my project so if I'll open that uh, expand com compress that uh, collapse that uh, Satya folder inside our folder this ghi component is not created right it because it just reports this file it reports you these files will be created but actually it does not create these files here inside satya component right if you expand this and expand this xyz fo component folder it is not created anywhere by default also it is not created inside the app folder so in the node section you can see that the dry run flag means no changes were made it just reports reporting you the files without actually creating them all right so if you want an inline template and style instead of an external template and style set so you can use that dash it flag for inline template and dash is for flag for inline styles along the same lines if you don't want the spec file use dash dash skip dash test 
uh, equal to false and notice we are will also use the dash d flag so what is the command is nggc ghi it hyphen dash it space dash dash is and to skip the test related files dash dash skip dash dash tests equal to false and dash d that means it will report these files without without creating any uh, component with ghi component right so this command is nggc ghi component uh, dash it for inline template and dash is for inline styles along with the same line we don't want a spec file or unit test file so that dash dash skip dash tests equal to false and we and also we are using this dash d flag so after then i click enter So it shows these two files, right? And this component dot spec dot ts and dot component dot ts file, right? So this is this uh, it and dash it and dash is it's skipped. So that this command this if you execute this command uh, without dash d so it will create these two files only uh, three files only right so i'll show you that one also so i just uh, remove this dash d dry flag and dry run flag and press enter so it will it will create with my component in inside the app folder and with the related files that is the ghi component.spec.ts ghi.component.ts file Okay. So my component has been created in my project because I does not have that uh, command dash d options here in the last so that it is created for me. With so if I look open that Visual Studio code here, so you can see NGGC EH. Oh yeah, you can see inside our folder, there is another folder called GHI. All right. So if I expand that GHI, only two files has been created. As it reports in the dry run flag, only two files will be created same way inside the folder app folder ghi component has been created with two files only ghi.component.spec.ts ghi.component.ts file with and this css and html files is not created because i have used that command called dash it space dash space dash is all right so also this command is also added in my in the import section and it also added inside the rdr ng mod decorator in app.model.ts so every com when you have noticed one thing when it when we have created any component in the last it shows that create in every folders left side there is one create of uh, uh, text is there right with the green symbol that means the, this new component related files has been created and update in the in the left side left hand side of app.model.ts so you can see that one blue uh, text is added like like update here that means this component is imported inside the app.model.ts using import section and also this uh, this component also added inside the add, add ng model decorator so that's why uh, for 
for component related files it is showing create and for the and the same component has been updated inside the app.model.ts so that it shows that update like the recent uh, command it shows that is for spec.ts.ts is created and this component is added inside the app.model.ts so that it shows update uh, text here okay so next one is uh, how to use your SASS instead of CSS cascading style with your component and we'll use one command called dash dash style equal to SASS flag with ng generate command so this is called ng gc ghi and dash d and dash dash style equal to SSS right so it will not create it will just open it will not create the uh, this uh, for this component again it just add the style that is SSS style sheet right because this component already in my uh, in my angular silly project so it will not create again so after then I just click enter here ng gc ghi dash d a merge conflicted on path src app ghi ghi dot component dot ts okay that means uh, this component already there with the ghi and dhi has already created the dot component and dot ts and dot component dot spec dot ts so that's why it is not created okay i will show you that is the nggc ghi Style S A S S S C S S. And click enter. Oh, I have writing the wrong thing, wrong options here. So SCSS equal to. okay that means i this component has already added that related files inside the folder so that's why it is not created for me in, uh, to add the new component inside the existing component so okay now we'll create another new component here so nggc and ghi G, uh, instead of ghi i'll use that uh, pra K, P R A K and 
dash t and dash dash style equal to scss So you can see here that the PRK component it shows this files HTML dot spec dot ts dot ts and instead of CSS it will create this uh, cascading style sheet that is SCSS. So before when we have created any component it will by default this cascading file should be extension should be CSS but if you want to instead of CSS uh, once SCSS so you can also put this command dash dash style equal to SCSS so this co component has been created with files a dot HTML dot spec dot TS dot TS and dot SCSS right so if I'll open that app dot folder this component is not created right so it does it just uh, reports us this file this will be this files will be created so if i will go to my this one i just remove that uh, that d here and after then i click enter so it will create the component related files with the cascading style sheet called scss instead of css So you can see guys this component is created with the cascading style sheet extensions is SCSS instead of CSS. So I will open my VS code here and inside the app folder there is another component folder prac and this files has been created prac.component.html prac.component.scss prac.component.spec.ts and prac component.ts instead of css we have used this cascading style sheet called scss like this if you want to use the uh, cascading style sheet like uh, LESS instead of a css so i just uh, want to create another component called pra and i want to cascading style sheet instead of a css and a css I want to use as LESS so I, I click enter here So here we have noticed that this component is created with the style sheet called LESS instead of CSS and SCSS. So I will show you inside VS code here. I just expand this PRA component folder. The PRA component relative files has been added and also instead of CSS and SCSS style sheet we have uh, got that cascading style sheet file called dot LESS that is style sheet file instead of CSS and usually this uh, component has been added inside the app.model.ts that is the PRA component and it said it is declared inside the ng model decorator that is the PR component so I'll go to my presentation here
so in this way we'll generate the component and what is app.model.ts so the root mo it is the root module file it is uh, also updated with our new component that is the required import statement to import the satya component from the component file is included i already have uh, told you earlier how it is added inside the import section and how it is added inside the adrian ng model decorator so both are included inside the app.model.ts when you have created any component newly it is added automatically inside the app.model.ts so the component is also declared in the declarations array of the ng model at the red ng model decorator here right and different flag with component generation so dash dash flat it is used to create a component without a folder dash dash dry dash run it reports the files and folders that will be generated without actually create generating them and dash it it is used for inline template and dash is it is used for inline styles and dash dash skip dash tests equal to false it will not create the spec dot ts that is unit test files for the new component dash dash style equal to css is use css instead of css it with your component and dash dash style equal to less it will use less instead of css with your component so this is my youtube channel subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on dotnet dotnet core c sharp sql server azure devops and angular so in this video what we have described is what is the component in angular cli and how to generate component using angular cli command what is the roles of app.model.ts and how the newly created components has been added inside the app.model.ts and what are the different flag options with gen generate uh, component generations so that's it for today guys thank you for listening have a great day